Before we jump into the video today, I just want you all to know that I've created a brand new channel. It's an analog horror channel focused on Lovecraftian horror. So if you dig that sort of thing and you need a good scare, check it out. Can you believe that in all the time I've been running this channel, we've never really talked about Voyager 1? Well, at least not in detail. Today that changes. I'm Eric Malachite, and today on Science Get, we're talking about Voyager 1, the 45-year-old spacecraft that keeps on trucking, and a new error that has the Voyager team at NASA scratching their heads. Voyager 1 is currently beyond the confines of the solar system, and as a matter of fact, is also well beyond its intended service life. Despite being over 23 billion kilometers from the Earth, it's still beaming back important scientific data. You might say that Voyager 1 is boldly going where no one has gone before, considering it's exploring interstellar space, a region that we have very little physical data on. Its twin, Voyager 2, is also exploring interstellar space, sitting at just over 19 billion kilometers from Earth. Back in 2020, the year no one wanted, Voyager 2 showed us all that the solar system is actually surrounded by a wall of super hot plasma. Thanks to the fact that this wall of fire is actually fairly low in the density department, Voyager 2 was able to slip right through it, giving us all hope that the Enterprise might be able to do the same. But the data it provided was invaluable, showing us that this barrier shields the entire solar system from about 70% of the harmful radiation coming our way from interstellar space. That barrier of plasma was measured to be around 30,000 to 50,000 Kelvin, which is really, really hot. That's somewhere in the order of 80 30,000 degrees Fahrenheit and 44,000 degrees Celsius, give or take a few hundred or thousand in both cases. Voyager 2 is currently operating normally, but despite the fact that Voyager 1 is still beaming back data, the mission team is scratching their hands at what looks like an issue with the spacecraft's system data. Troubleshooting Voyager 1 is a tricky endeavor. Considering its distance from the Earth, that's probably not really a surprise. It takes roughly 20 hours for messages sent from Voyager 1's high-gain antenna to reach us, which is pointed directly at Earth. However, something weird is going on with Voyager 1's double ACS controls, which control its orientation and keeps that very same antenna pointed in the right direction. In other words, right at Earth. So, what is the big mystery? Well, the antenna appears to still be functioning properly, but the telemetry data that the team is getting back from the spacecraft is wrong, possibly even being randomly generated. I know what you're thinking, and no, it's not aliens. Well, at least I don't think it's aliens. This is admittedly a minor issue, at least for now, as it hasn't led to Voyager 1 going into its own equivalent of safe mode. If this were to happen, then the mission team would only be able to issue commands to operate equipment that is absolutely essential to keep good old V'ger going. Suzanne Dodd, project manager for Voyager 1 and 2 at NASA's JPL in SoCal, had this to say about the data issue for an article provided to phys.org by JPL themselves. A mystery like this is sort of par for the course at this stage of the Voyager mission. The spacecraft are both almost 45 years old, which is far beyond what the mission planners anticipated. We're also in interstellar space, a high radiation environment that no spacecraft have flown in before. So there are some big challenges for the engineering team. But I think if there's a way to solve this issue with the double ACS, our team will find it. Earlier, we mentioned that Voyager 2 discovered a wall of fire, a barrier between our solar backyard and interstellar space. Well, Voyager 1 has passed this boundary as well. Radiation in this region is dramatically higher than what we find in the solar system itself, so it's possible that this issue has something to do with operating in an environment it was never designed to tolerate. If Dodd and her team are able to isolate what's causing the data issue, then they should be able to adapt the craft to it. Another solution could be to activate some of Voyager 1's backup systems. And it wouldn't even be the first time that the craft has had to do this, as in 2017 its primary thrusters looked a bit worse for wear. The team solved this by switching to the thrusters Voyager 1 used for planetary flybys. Amazingly, the thrusters still worked even after sitting dormant for almost four frickin' decades. Man, NASA really builds things to last, don't they? If you let your car sit for 37 years and fired up the engine, there's no freaking way it'd start up. Each year, the Voyager twins lose 4 kilowatts worth of energy production. Eventually, this will lead to power and system failure. But for now, at least, they're still boldly going. 
That's all I've got for you today. So if you dug this video, be sure to do all that algorithmic jazz and like, comment, subscribe, and share this with someone who loves space and science. And be sure to check out my new project. It's called the Office of Extra Dimensional Intelligence, and it's an analog horror series that is sure to leave you deeply unsettled. The second episode is out right now, and you can watch that by clicking the link in the pinned comment. And hey, check out all those wonderful names. Thank you, patrons. I'm Eric Malachite, and I'll see you next time, Space Cowboy.